In oblique slip plate margins, such as the western coast of North America, one plate moves laterally past another, resulting in strike-slip faults. Crust is neither created or destroyed in this type of plate margin. The San Andreas Fault System is a typical manifestation of this kind of plate margin. When forces exceed the brittle strength of rocks, the rocks will break and shift along faults. The type of fault that is produced depends on the type of stress and the direction of the resulting movement of the fault blocks. When shearing forces break rocks, rocks on opposite sides slide past each other horizontally, producing a strike-slip fault. Such faults are termed right lateral if rocks on the opposite side have shifted to the right with respect to an observer, or left lateral if the rocks have shifted to the left. Strike-slip faulting along the margins of tectonic plates creates transform plate boundaries. Such faulting is most commonly found offsetting adjacent segments of mid-ocean ridges on the sea floor. However, transform boundaries may be found within continental crust as well. The San Andreas Fault in California is a well-known example. In the image above, the right lateral motion of the San Andreas over time is evidenced by the displacement of the stream bed across the fault. The 130 meter offset was not produced in a single earthquake, but is the cumulative result of dozens to hundreds of quakes over many thousands of years. Strike-slip faults along transform boundaries are not perfectly straight over long distances. Where bends occur in such faults, as along the San Andreas Fault east of Los Angeles, local forces can shift from shear to compression or tension. Such local shifts in forces have produced the San Gabriel Mountains and Salton Trough, respectively.